Here we do have a system of equations, but it is not a system that I would plug into Desmos. We could, I'll show you what it'll look like, but this is a case where since one of the equations isn't really an equation, it's basically just a point, it's half of the whole thing, we can just plug points into equations, right? So yes, this is two things, but really it's one equation and an instruction of a number to plug in. So you should recognize that, that this is a very different kind of system than some of the more complicated ones where we would wanna put it into Desmos and see that point of intersection. Here, just plug eight in for X, right? So that goes right in there, we get eight, plus three Y is 26, subtract eight, right? We're gonna work our way towards that Y. So three Y is equal to, uh, that's 18, divide by three, divide by three, Y is equal to six. Done, right? Because what do they want? They wanted the Y. And that is one thing we have to be careful of when we have any sort of system of equations is they could ask for the X, they could ask for the Y. I kind of knew they'd ask for the Y here just because they basically gave me the X, but it's good habit to just check out before you move on to the next question. So like I said, we could do this using Desmos. If we are going to, I would just be very literal about it. Just enter what they gave us, right? So X equals eight is gonna give us a vertical line at eight. And then uh, X plus three Y equals 26 is just gonna give us a kind of normal line. Um, and we can kind of see it, but uh, it is worth pointing out, I think that some of you might be tempted to like rearrange the X plus three Y into Y equals MX plus B, maybe because you have a calculator like this in school that can only work if you have things in terms of Y equals. But Desmos is more, much more powerful. So we, we don't have to do that. You can give it anything and it'll turn it into the right equation. So I'm gonna just zoom. And since we are asked for the uh, solution, basically that is code for what is the intersection? So eight, six. But again, remember, especially if you use Desmos, that you have to make sure you are giving them the right coordinate. Here they specifically ask us for Y, but I do think the eight is a little bit more tempting when you're using Desmos because it's first, because you're kinda, I don't know, you're not really thinking about the fact that you put X equals eight in as an equation. So it doesn't feel like the eight is easier. It's just they're kind of more equal in this way. But um, good habit to get into, always double check what they want because they love to ask, or they want, love to ask for something different than what you're used to being asked for, knowing that you'll just kind of not check. So always check and be safe.